A judge has jailed two directors of the defunct stockbroking firm Opus Prime. Lurie Emeny and Anthony Blumberg were at the helm when the company collapsed three years ago with debts totalling a billion dollars. But today's sentence hasn't placated the mum and dad investors who lost out. When Laurie Emeny started to use borrowed shares to plug holes in the accounts of clients, it sparked a chain reaction. In 2008, his firm Opus Prime collapsed, owing more than a billion dollars. More than half of that was to its major lenders, the ANZ Bank and Merrill Lynch. Today, Emeny was sentenced to two years jail for dishonest dealings in breach of the Corporations Act. His co-director, Anthony Blumberg, received 12 months. Both men will be released on good behaviour bonds after serving half their sentences. These guys are having a, a bit of a holiday for six or 12 months and they'll have homes to go back to. I don't have a home currently to go back to. We're still rebuilding our lives. David Regensperger lost $300,000 in life savings when Opus collapsed. Robert Fowler lost nearly $2 million. The banks and the regulators, I think, have a lot to answer for. Smaller investors who thought they owned shares quickly realised they didn't when the ANZ Bank sold them to secure its own position. I believe it was bold and brazen and opportunistic. They had the finest legal counsel and they were able to put a situation in place that uh, would deprive everybody to their advantage. Both Emony and Blumberg's sentences were heavily discounted as they've agreed to give evidence against their co-accused. But investors believe there are even bigger players to target. I think there are, um, there are institutions that should be on trial about this. Uh, I think the people that should take the blame are the people that have taken the money. A class action suit against Opus Prime and the ANZ Bank was settled in 2009. Both Emony and Blumberg have been disqualified from managing any corporation in the future. Sarah Farnsworth, ABC News, Melbourne.